Yeah. Hey, what is up guys, YT Gaming to top here coming at you with this amazing video and today I'm showing you one insane strategy. So as I told you, I have been using a lot of different strategies lately and this one just blew my mind guys. I have won so many games with this strategy, it is actually insane, it is so good. Let's hop in into this game guys and let's just like, like, like just watch this, just watch this. So I start with the druid, I go to 002, I equal to 284 with two space blues at the end and I get my orb in round 1. It's very good if you can get it round 1, if there is no max anti-stall on their end. So uh, you get earlier trees obviously and you want to buy your orb in uh, round 3 for 40 bucks. So whenever you get your orb in round 1, always buy round 3, no matter what strategy you are using. Because it's just 40 bucks, it gives you extra level, so it, it, it's a really good upgrade. Anyway, we micro our druid a little bit here and there, back and forth. And as you can see, I bought the 40 bucks upgrade, I, I always do this. And you always want to do it with the round 1 orb in. Anyway, he's going druid sub ice, as it seems, because on garden that strategy is actually pretty good. But he doesn't know what strategy I am going. So I am rocking not druid sub ice, but I'm rocking druid farm sub. And this strategy, it's so greedy. Like your farms, your, your farms are just insane with this strategy. You will see guys, just, just keep watching. Like any game that I have played so far using this strategy, my farms were insane. I have won a tournament just now in B2T uh, Discord. It's a tournament Discord. I just won a tournament using this strategy because it, it, it's just so good. Anyway. Uh, what I usually do, I group eco into round 5, and then round 5 I start space ecoing, especially if uh, the rounds are not anti-stalled completely, like here, but for example on Koro, probably round 4 I would be space ecoing uh, already, and uh, like round 4 I would be space ecoing, so it, it depends on the amount of anti-stall, but uh, the reason why also I went for lightning, because on garden you always want to get lightning on your upper druid, uh, it's just so much more helpful. Uh, defending anything they are going to send against you, plus the AI puff, double puff, there is no really good druid spot on this map, so lightning works out perfectly, and uh, we don't really need Avatar of Wrath, guys. With this strategy, I believe I can defend anything until round 32. Round 32 group BADs, there is just not enough damage for me to defend it. Although maybe we can practice, we can test in privates and maybe we can even defend round 32 with the enough druid spam. But uh, I'm really not sure. And this also means you kind of want Avatar of Wrath on the middle path. I don't know guys, um, I doubt you are going to defend round 32 because it, even with my micro I'll probably die. So as you can see we already have two great farms, our eco is almost 600, but again the rounds are a little bit stalled. I got the lightning to try and anti-stall as much as I possibly can and now I just eco a couple of more reds and I get my third farm and now I am saving for a plantation guys. I, I have been enjoying this plantation play so much that I, I honestly started sacrificing eco for just getting that early plantation. It pays off so well through rounds uh, 9, 10, 11, 12. Like, look, I get this plantation and it's giving me so much more money than if I just had extra 50 eco at this point. So I, I don't know, but I am really loving this uh, plantation play, especially because our goal is not to go around... Um, 35 defend rushes uh, all out them our goal is to rush them as much as we can while trying to maintain anti-stall but again i'm not sure maybe i could have placed my druid and my obin where my farm is and anti-stall the rounds way harder i am not 100 percent sure but anyway look we have marketplace and plantation round um into round 11 and i get the <coughs> excuse me sell back value just in case he sends me an instant round 11 rush then i sell that farm and i get my uh, reactor and i get ballistic missile my micro allows me to do that. I guess if, if your micro isn't as good, you might just want to get some preemptive defenses. Anyway, he sent some purples, but as you can see, I was ready. I was spot on ready. And if he sent more and more, um, I don't think I would need anything. But if he sent a better rush with regions and stuff, I would just get ballistic. Anyway, we have two marketplaces, one plantation and 700 eco going into round 13. And this is just insane. This is the power of greed and uh, relying on your micro. Now, honestly, 700 eco is good enough for me. Plus, he is going druid sub. And whether he has ice or ninja, he will probably be able to defend my rushes and I will probably be dead to third BAD or two BADs and DDTs round 30 
um, I'm not sure how well my defense is going to be against it. So I don't eco, I go for my BRF, round 15 guys, you, you know the wipe. Also, you could have noticed that I saved some money before going for BRF. I know I had enough, but I did save a little bit of money there, uh, just in case he sends me ceramics or something. So I have enough to afford my ballistic missile instantaneously if he's going to rush me. So, and here comes some rush against me, I perfectly afford my ballistic. So I easily defend that rush, he did not layer much there and uh, we easily defend it and we have BRF and we are going for our second marketplace round 16 guys well there is literally nothing he could have done the only thing he could have done is force sell our 202 uh, round 11 instantaneously if he rushed us but he did not so yeah but as you can see he is also chilling over there and uh, I'm not being really aggressive right now I'm mainly playing passive but we enter Moeb rounds guys let's send him a couple of Moebs he's sending me a Moeb as well but I, I should be fine just get a little bit of extra defenses and that's about it and I don't think I sent him enough right like two Moebs but I still actually forced his uh, submarine AP darts wow that's actually really good on uh, our end I sent him 2k to force like 4,000 defenses so that's uh, perfect for me plus he spent 1k you see that the longer we prevent him from greeting the, the more we prevent him from greeting the better it is for us because he is relying on eco and druid farms but we have all our money stacked in our druid farms round 18 BRF and uh, 204 if you ask me, these farms are insane. I wouldn't have the same farms if I went Darkling Farm Ninja with DJ Ben. I would have worse farms. But I would anti-stall more. So, yeah, it kind of uh, makes sense. But I will need a lot more in defenses to defend his aggression with Darkling Farm Ninja. So, uh, with this strategy, there is nothing he can do. He, if he sends me BFPs, easy defend for me. He sends me fortified or non-fortified GMGs, easy defend for me, guys. He sends me DDTs, I get Superstorm, I buff it by Poplast, I can defend, I can get preemptive round 28 with the Superstorm. And here he is sending me a fortified Moab, I just buy my trees. This is exactly why, guys, this is exactly why, guys, you upgrade round 3 for 40 bucks. Round 20, Monkey Wall Street. How often do you see this kind of play? And I have my trees over there. This is amazing. Now I can send him a humongous rush, guys, round 22. But also be careful against Druid sub ice. For example, if he stopped echoing here and he started saving up money, he would afford his Superstorm round 24. Like, he, he continued echoing meanwhile, but he should have completely stopped, like, into round 20 after yellows. If he stopped completely there and just started Druid spamming, he would have more money than he has now. And uh, yeah, but anyway, I got my fourth tier farm and my marketplace and I'm sending him ZUMG and fortified ZUMG and uh, good luck defending this bro, good luck defending this rush. Anyway, I start selling my farms and I'm just stacking, I'm stacking those BFPs, fortified BFP, look at this rush guys, look at this rush, this is over $40,000 and I still have my marketplace and the round is almost over, I'll get extra 10k, this will be over 90k rush at this point and plus I'll get extra money and <laughs> this is basically 100k rush on round 22 to round 23 and there is no way on earth he is going to afford his uh, superstorm so now we are selling monkey wall street and just sending region rainbows obviously not the best play but I'm sure he is dead there and uh, yeah guys just look look how laggy this game is becoming <laughs> because of our region rainbows 50,000 of region rainbows round 24 <laughs> anyway guys he is going down here it's lagging a little bit i hope you enjoyed this one hit the like and subscribe button guys and see you in the next one